Greetings and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me reviewing and giving my first impressions on Colourpop's no filter products such as their no filter concealers, no filter foundation and no filter setting powder. So um, yeah, I did complete this entire look using other Colourpop products as well. And if you're interested in probably creating this look or listening to me review the products and knowing if they were a hit or a miss, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm so excited to try this no filter foundation. I got it in the shade medium 90. I don't really know if this is the exact shade. Am I doing it wrong? Why can't I pump? So basically, you're supposed to remove the handle, this part, before you can pump. It's dripping, but it's slowly, so this is literally the perfect consistency for a foundation. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too runny. This is, wow, I'm excited. But I think this is slightly lighter than my skin color, like a shade or half a shade lighter. Okay, the foundation blends really well into my skin but it doesn't give you a lot of playtime so you gotta blend it fast because I feel like, like it dries up so you don't really have much time to blend. Yep, it's definitely a shade lighter. And what's worse is I have a tan right now because I just came back from holiday. Like I just came back from my summer break and I like sweat for 7 hours. So yes, I do have a tan and it is not like This is actually half a shade lighter than my original skin But right now it looks like it's one and a half to two shades lighter just because I have a tan on me So what I really like about the foundation is that it's not too sticky and it still has that glow like it gives your skin that glow Can you see? Like it, it's matte, but it gives that glow. So not a lot of foundations do this this is a yes, though the only thing I feel that can be improved is how dry, like how quickly it dries on the skin. So I prefer having more time to blend my foundation and play around with it rather than just like, like that. So, so far I'd give it an 8, 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, I would say it's medium coverage, not too light and not too heavy. Okay, and then moving on to concealers. If you're a loyal subscriber, you'd know that I cannot live without ColourPop's no filter concealers. Like, I've tried Maybelline, I've tried Tarte, Sephora, Benefit, NYX, Urban Decay. But I don't know, I just find myself always going back to this concealer. And this concealer is full coverage AF. I have really, really, really bad eye bags. What I'm doing is actually mixing the first um, shade called Medium Tan with the next shade Golden because I have like an orangey skin tone. And so to even that out, I don't want my under eyes and all to be extra bright. I just apply a bit of Golden just so that it balances to my skin color. gives you a lot of time to like blend and play with it so that's really really good and it blends into your skin seamlessly can you see like oh I cannot I cannot with this concealer it is the best concealer ever I had a red mark there I don't know if you saw it but the foundation didn't fully cover that but as soon as I didn't apply concealer there but as soon as I just brushed my concealer brush on it it's gone I also like to contour my face using um the no filter concealer in the shade deep and you honestly only have to apply a really small amount because this is super full coverage I don't really like um cream contouring color probably it's super easy for me like the blending abilities of these no filter concealers are just mind-blowing
when blending my um, nose contour, I don't only tap it, but I push it down so that this entire area and this entire area is like even toned and in the end it'll look natural. I actually like how the foundation sits on my skin. Like you feel like you're not wearing anything. Last but not least is their no filter setting powder. I only got the shade translucent because I wanted this in the banana shade if I'm not mistaken but the banana shade was over. So it's okay. I'm just gonna set my makeup with this powder. Okay, wow. Can you see all that flying? Like the dust particles. I like how a little amount can actually make it matte. Like it's setting my makeup with such little product. Reminds me a bit of my Laura Mercier. This powder gives off a lot of dust particles. Like, boom! I don't know if this camera can capture all the particles floating around me right now. But, yeah. Surface area is quite small, so like I'm dropping it everywhere because my brush is really big. Oh, I forgot to rate my concealer. So my concealer is a definite 10 out of 10. The foundation, what is this? Anyways, um, the concealer gets a 10 out of 10. The foundation gets an 8.5. And the powder, I'm honestly not too sure. I'd also give it an 8.5 or 9. Actually, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because of the particles that keep flying. Like, it's so... I don't know. And the surface area is really small. So, yeah. Otherwise, the product itself is really, really good. So, yeah. I'm happy with how my face looks. Like, the base makeup. So I'm just going to finish my face using other ColourPop products that I have. And yeah. Next, I'll be doing my brows using ColourPop's Brow Pot in Jet Set Black. I can still see scars and veins popping out of my skin. So, hmm. Foundation. I may just drop it to like 8 out of 10. But my concealer and the powder seem alright. I don't know, I think I kind of had high expectations for this. But it did do justice to the no filter part. Like my skin looks flawless. I do have dots around here and here and here but you can't really see it, can you? It's not even that visible from the naked eye. Actually, no, I'll stick to 8.5 out of 10. Next, for eyeshadow, I just got the Perception Palette. Collab between Shayla and Colourpop. Oh my goodness, I opened this palette. I've not swatched it, but I opened it. And oh, I just love how it's packaged. Like, this suede texture here and then this golden engraving here reminds me a bit of Kylie with this drips liquid drips look how pretty it is just look oh my god and three two one <gasps> Ta -da! I don't have like majority of these shades but yeah, oh my god, I am so excited to use them. I don't even know what look I want to go for. I think I'm just going to play with these shades here. For today, I'll definitely do another look, another video using these shades here. Okay, so taking my Coastal Sands BR250 brush, I'll be mixing this shade and this shade for my crease. Revenge and Culture. Your names are so cute. And oh yeah, I love how there's a normal sized mirror here. Yeah. Holy shit, it's pigmented AF. Currently smiling right now because I know half of you who watch this make fun of how I say it's so pigmented. Okay, I'm 
just gonna wet my brush a bit and taking the shade Spill the Tea, this shade here. Ooh, the glitter. Oh my gosh. I'm just applying it on this first half of my lid. This was an impulse buy. Like, I didn't really know if I wanted it or not. But, yeah. Next, I'm gonna take the shade called Shade. This one. It's a burgundy shade with pink glitters in it. Okay, I'm just... Oh my god, it is... So pigmented. I think I applied a bit too much. <gasps> oh no! It's okay, it's okay. You can fix this. Going back to that spill the tea shade, I'm just gonna blend that into the purple shade that I just messed up. And then taking the shade played out, I'll be using this. I'll be applying this on my outer third crease. In terms of pigmentation, this um, palette is great. There's no fallout if you can see. The color range is amazing and it's super blendable. And for my inner corner, I'll be taking the shade Unbothered. This white pearly shade here. And just swiping. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I guess I'm done with my eyeshadow. That was quick and easy. Okay, I'm just gonna apply a bit of this. Actually, no. Not this. Let me find my color pop. Supernova shadow. Okay, I found this in Running in Orbits. And I'm just gonna be a bit extra today and apply a teeny tiny amount. Jack it up. I'm just gonna quickly finish my eyeliner, mascara, and falsies. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish those up and get back. So basically, I'm done with my face. I contoured and highlighted because I realized that I don't have a contour from ColourPop besides my liquid contour, like I don't have a powder contour. And the highlight shade that I got from ColourPop is too pink. So I know that I, I give it away. Or did I throw it away? Basically, it's not with me anymore. So yeah, I'm just gonna top my lips up with this ColourPop Luxe lip. And this is the final look. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and click the subscribe button below. Bye!